Tell me about your uh, your rounder records. You also told the story I heard before about you sending your first tape to Rounder Records, which ended up being the Freewheeling album. I remember you said they rejected it at first. <laughs> tell us that story, because I'll let you tell well, it. Well, I just sent them a demo, you know, about four songs, sent it to them. And they liked it. And they said, uh, well, we'd want one more guitar-oriented, you know. Do something with more guitar. All right. And I sent them the same one about three weeks later. And they said, oh, yeah, that's better. Like, All right. <laughs> same, same, same thing. So I guess. Just had to feel like they had their finger in the pie, I guess. So I guess freewheeling probably opened, started opening some doors for you, too. Well, it helped to get my name out there. That's, that's the good thing about Rounder. Uh, they, they put the record out for reviews and airplay, you know, radio stations. And I did four records for Rounder. I did Freewheeling. Then Mike Compton and I put one out called Climbing the Wall. And then I put out Lone Soldier and Panorama. So those are the four that came out on Rounder. And I started my own label in 98. And that first record was Hoot Nanny with Tim O'Brien and Dirk Powell. And then I did, uh, I've Got the House to Myself, which is just solo guitar. I think I got 15, 16 records out now. What made you decide to start your own label? Well, I never saw any money from those records on Rounder. And I knew they were selling, but not according to their accounting. So I was curious. So I put out my own record. And it sold it and recouped in a year. So I knew that how I was going to do it from then on. Without my own record. Right. Keep the money. Well, I guess today, especially nowadays, that's, uh, that's really more the way to go because, um, with social media and the internet open things up for artists, you know, you don't really necessarily need a big record company anymore. Well, especially when they don't pay you. Do you record your own? Uh, records, do you have a studio of your own, or is there a particular studio you use? No. No, a friend of mine put it real plain to me one time. I was thinking about it, and you know, I was talking to him. He goes, well, what do you want to do in your spare time? You want to play the guitar, or do you want to read manual? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, hell, that's an easy choice. I want to play the guitar. Yeah, well, then you don't need a studio. And so I got friends that got a studio. I got a lot of friends that got studios, so... And I just call them up when I want to use studio, pay them for it, and done. How do you like to record your guitar? Do you have certain mics you like using? No, I don't know. I don't pay any attention. Kind of That's leave, their job. 